Hi, Steve Goretta here from Regato, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how you set up our new people counter, the Hella APS90E, with your Swift kit. And I'm going to walk through the instructions that we provided in our knowledge base uh, on the Regato website. And if you have any questions, you can go there and see more details and also reach out to support if you have any problems. And what that also has is the setup guide for the physical installation of the APS-90. So if you haven't done that yet, stop now and go do that before you follow along these instructions because in order to properly set up the people counter for counting, you need to have it installed in the area that you want to count. So assuming you've done that, I'm now going to walk through the process of configuring the device um, adding it into IoT Central, and actually seeing counts come in. So I'm going to start here on my IoT Central setup. Uh, you can see I've got all the different device templates, and I've already clicked into the Hella APS-90 device template. This comes with the Swift Kit application template. So if you install the Swift Kit, you should see this in there. And again, if you've already networked and plugged in the camera, it should automatically show up in here, plug and play. If it hasn't yet, please refer to our knowledge base articles about it or contact us for support. But if it's on the same network as the Regato Cascade Gateway, you should see it appear here. And you can click into it. And you'll notice that we've actually um, added a nice little uh, trick here, which is we showed the IP address of the camera. This is going to make it really easy to go in and configure it from the local UI in order to get uh, counting going. And we've already actually set up um, five counting lines here in the IoT Central template. Now they all say waiting for data because we haven't set up counting yet. But as soon as we set up some counting lines, you'll see some data come in here. We'll get to that shortly. So the first thing you want to do is from a laptop that is on the same local network as the Hella APS90E people counter, you want to take the IP address and just paste it into a browser window. And it'll automatically direct you to the local UI for the APS90E. Now the default password is admin, which you're going to want to change uh, as soon as you can when you go into the setup pages. And type in admin and then make sure you go and log in for setup because we're going to want to do setup. So I'm going to do that. And you'll see that it defaults you to a view here. I've already physically set this up. This is actually here in my, my home on my back patio. Uh, and you'll see that it's got a, a you know, very simple view of, of the back door. And that's where we're going to set up some people counting. Now, the UI has a lot of different features and functions here. We're not going to go through all of them, but they are all in the user manual, which we have on the knowledge base. What I'm going to do is show you how to really quickly just set up the, the floor plan and some counting lines. You'll see how easy it is to do this. So first, what you can do is go into the camera position. And uh, what you have to do is um, set up you know, the floor area, as you see it here, um, within this red area. The red stuff is really out of bounds. It's not an area that the camera can actually do accurate counting in. And so all you need to do is go in and um, set up these lines and kind of route them around any major obstacles here. As you can see I'm doing, it's really easy. You simply just double click on things and it creates new new counting lines. And you know I've got this funny little wall and, and gutter down spot here. So I'm just going to double click and um, kind of go around that, bring it in here. And you know, the, the, the more precise you are with this, the, the less likely you are to have counting errors, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You'll see pretty soon that it works pretty well. But you know, if you're doing this on a customer site, you're, you're going to want to get as close as you can. Uh, so keep all those inside the red area. Um, we'll, we're going to save that floor area. And you, you might have noticed the camera position over here. You can, it, it does auto calibration and you can get in here and make changes to it if you have special height ranges and everything. But most of the time it's just going to work out of the box. It's going to detect what you have and, and work pretty well. So uh, I've got my floor plan set up 
And now all we need to do is set up some counting lines. By the way, this blue arrow, arrow all it does is orient um, the direction that the camera is facing. We don't have anything special here, but you could change that if you wanted to. So go in, now go into the counting, and you'll see that it's got my floor plan there. And I'm going to add a counting line. So in this case, um, it's going to create one here. You see it, it, it brings one in. And you can have multiple counting lines. I'm only going to do one for this. And it's going to be a pretty simple one. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of that one. And you can kind of angle it a little bit if you're worried about people coming in and taking a sharp left and missing it. But this should be pretty good. Now, um, you'll see these little arrows. That's the in and out direction. You can just hit this little button like I'm about to and flip it. So now anything that goes with the arrow will be in and against the arrow will be out. Uh, there's some advanced things you can do like setting delays to make sure that you don't get people that are um, moving in and out really quickly, but I'm not too worried about that for this demonstration. So I'm going to save these changes. And you'll see now that I have my counting line set up. Uh, it's got an adult child because the APS-90E can discern between the two, in and out. And now it's actually doing counting. So we're ready to go and test it out and make sure that there's some counts. So uh, I'm going to actually do that. And I'll return in a moment, and we'll see if the, uh, the counter actually hits. And I'm actually going to hit the play button to uh, capture that motion. So here we go. Okay, I'm back, and it looks like it worked just great. I see now that there is uh, one of each out and in, which is where I went. So we know that our counter is working, and the counting line is set up pretty well. Always a good idea to test it a few different ways. Uh, make sure that it's picking up things. If not, you can always uh, play with the counting lines. And so uh, now I'm going to go back to my IoT Central application. And look at that. We've got some counts coming in automatically refreshed. Uh, counting line one. We only set up counting line one, so um, the other one should all read zero. But if we had created additional counting lines, they'd be showing here. And this is great. You can see now that we've got um, adult count out one and one. <coughs> and I'm now ready to actually go and start doing some more interesting things with this data. Uh, you can take it into a dashboard, and an example to do that uh, is right here. I actually did this earlier um, with a similar setup where you could maybe take a snapshot just so that when you're looking at the dashboard, you can remember what the space is. Um, you can do a time graph history of the counts. You could do a basic, you know, show me the number of counts for adults uh, in and out. And you can also set up rules and set up triggers so that if the count goes above a certain number, uh, that that sends a you know an alert, an email, and a text message. So now that we've set up the people counter and that data is just flowing into IoT Central, uh, you can really do anything you want with that. Uh, and of course, you can also send it into um, Azure IoT Hub. Uh, that's a, a setup that um, Regato Support can help uh, create as well. So that's really all there is to it. There are a number of advanced capabilities in the people counter. If I go back to that user interface, um, you know there are things like zone monitoring, uh, social distance tracking. You can you know record video and upload that. Um, those are things that are not yet integrated into the standard IoT central device template we have, uh, but those are pretty easy to set up and send into the cloud. So. If that's something you want to look to, um, you can check out some of our advanced recipes on the knowledge base. And speaking of which, our knowledge base has uh, all the instructions for networking the APS-90E, uh, viewing it like I just did in IoT Central, and uh, 
you know, any questions you may have hopefully will be answered there. And as always, you're welcome to contact Regatta Support for assistance. So hopefully this has been a, a good tutorial and overview about how to configure the APS90E people counter with uh, the Regatta Swift Kit and IoT Central. And again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to support. And good luck setting up your Swift Kit and the people counter. Thank you very much.